Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into some light teas. We'll be talking about some new fun Taeyong pictures. We have one where Taeyong got a little wet and also see some of Taeyong's abs. I was like, oh my god, when I saw this, I had to come on here and fangirl with you guys. We also have that update on Sugar's surgery. He talked about not being able to move his arm and all that stuff. So I definitely want to get into that a little bit as well. So let's jump into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now right off the bat, I do want to talk about something. I want to address yesterday's video. I had no intention to make it appear on the thumbnail that BTS had contracted the virus. That's why at no point did I mention in the title that BTS had the virus. And I didn't say that in the video either. I asked the question if they were exposed to the virus because this is something that armies were concerned about. Especially since they heard that the AMAs were going to be taking place outside and it wasn't announced until literally a few days ago that BTS will be performing at the AMAs remotely. However, it was my fault that I put team members had tested positive for the quote on the thumbnail. This could obviously be insinuated as BTS's teammates. What I meant was team members like the team of the AMA award show or BTS's team. That is obviously something that wasn't clear and that was literally my fault for making it unclear. So I did change it to crew members and I'm sorry to anyone that was hurt by that. I rarely ever change thumbnails or anything like that, but this time I definitely do agree. It was very unclear. It was not okay. So I changed it. Thank you for telling me. Now moving on, let's get into the stuff that you guys were here for, which is the wet and abs of Taeyang. So recently an article was made on the magazine Esquire. BTS is literally killing it with these American magazine features. They always take these amazing photos, which undoubtedly would go viral on like Twitter or whatever. Also, these photographers and stylists clearly have so much fun dressing up BTS because BTS's style tends to like to break gender norms. Now, while all the photos of BTS were dope, they all killed it. We're going to zoom in a little bit on Sayang's photo, his little pictures that were made in the magazine. It looks like some of these pictures got an entire page, which personally, if I got the magazine, I would just rip out the page and then frame it because it is art. Now there was this picture here of Taeyang, J-Hope, and RM. Seems like a regular picture. Nothing aside from their beauty here is out of the ordinary. But if you're an army or a little bit crazy like me, you'll see that Taeyang is wearing a crop top. A really short cardigan, if you will. Oh my god, if Taeyang brings back crop tops, I am going to die. Like if you think about two years ago, the world was really trying to bring crop tops back from like the 70s or whatever. And it didn't really work, I don't think, and now they're trying again. I hope it works out so much better now. Every man everywhere is going to be wearing short cardigan crop tops from now on. So if that wasn't enough on its own to make armies go crazy, just the idea that Tang is wearing shorter shirts should make you go crazy. And then you have this picture here. First off, how do you even like pose? Like what pose is that? My bones wouldn't be able to support myself. I just fold in half. But aside from that, where can I apply to be the floor? That specific floor. Like, why is that floor so lucky to exist as a floor? God really do be having favorites, huh? But if you look closely at that picture, you'll see this kind of hip line. You'll see like an inch of skin. And you can see what kind of looks like abs there. Like, that's enough. Like, we armies will die when we see that picture, but we'll come back to life. However, if you move that cardigan up just a little bit more, we will be dead. Like, we literally won't be allowed to come back to life. I definitely wanted to see what some people were saying over on the Tweetster, specifically about the crop top. One person said, Kim Tang, did you wear a crop top? Explain, explain. Girl, why do you need an explanation when the answer is so clear? Yes. He is trying to kill us. The government hired him for population control. And he was like, I got this. I'll just wear a crop top. I'm kidding, by the way. But like, he is going to kill me one day. And Tang has been putting out these like V cuts all the time. I believe V cuts are just his own words for saying like photos. Tam pictures or pictures that were taken by BTS of Tam. Some people were hoping that Tam could put out a formal picture or a V cut of him in a crop top. One person said, if Tam posts a V cut with crop top, dot dot dot. Right? I agree with the dot dot dot. Can we just exist now with only Tam and crop tops? Like he should have no other clothes in his wardrobe. Now Tam recently has been very active on social media, which could only mean that his mixtape is possibly coming out. He just recently posted a selk of himself and then posted it to the BTS Twitter account. And he be posting these pictures as if he's someone who doesn't kill millions by posting pictures. But hey, I like to be murdered by Zaddy. He posted this selka, this selfie of him with wet hair with a leopard shirt. Girl, stop, stop. Oh my God. He looks like a thief, a thief of my heart. He looks like one of those hot playboys. I literally cannot even. He looks so good and us armies, we love a wet Taeyang. He will be forever giving me breathing problems. 
I'm gonna have health issues if he keeps posting. But I am glad that Suga's health issues has it under wrap. A lot of people were obviously worried about him going into surgery, and obviously surgery of any kind involves some risk. But I was confident that there would only be the best of the best doctors there to help him out, to help him rehab for his shoulder. Now recently during a live stream, Sugar talked about his feelings and kind of gave a little update on everything. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but if not, let's talk about it. Sugar's talked about how he's been taking it easy for a little while, eating a lot, sleeping a lot, just really relaxing, and I'm glad to hear that. Sugar then gets into exactly why he wanted to get the surgery. He had been getting injections for a long time. He got these injections to his arm, and I assumed that it made him feel a lot better, that he felt comfortable doing his normal day-to-day thing. He then realized he couldn't do his normal day-to-day -day thing without the injections and he relied heavily on them. So then one day he had a commercial for the soda thing and he was supposed to just hold it up. He soon realized even just by holding it up it was too much for him. Like it hurt him a lot. So he thought well if I can't hold this how am I supposed to hold the microphone? So that is when he went ahead and decided to do the surgery. I am so proud of him because that is definitely not an easy decision to make. He assured armies on the stream that he was indeed resting and during the first three days of his surgery he could not move his left arm at all. That that is insane to hear. He must have been pretty much bedridden the whole time. He also said that he couldn't sleep because he was in so much pain. He then said when he takes a shower, he takes the braces off. And he's not comfortable holding anything with his left hand yet. But of course, he is still trying to regain joint control and all that stuff. This is normal, I guess, with this type of surgery. I've never gotten it. I have no idea. I wonder if there was any medication he could have taken for like the pain of the first three days. Obviously, when he heals, he's never going to have to go through that pain again. After this, he's going to be going to rehab. And it seems like he is looking forward to going back to how things were. Now, even though he is recovering, he is constantly thinking about going back to work. This really shows how much he loves his life and how much he loves what he does. And also that if you're passionate and you're that passionate about what you do, you will be successful, just like he is. So a little life lesson, a little role model he is, and he doesn't even know he's doing that. Afterwards, ARMY's trend of the hashtag, we will wait for Yoongi. I think this is super kind. This is so nice for everyone to do. I definitely hope you got a chance to see that. The hashtag was filled with such inspiring and beautiful words. I love it so much. I think if Sugar does end up going on Twitter, he'll see it, he'll get the message. I was seeing people on the Twitter, the tweets they're writing this. Fighting baby, you can do this. We will wait, no rush. No rush at all, we will be here. And of course, if he ever feels lonely or sad or whatever, he can just hop on a live stream and just talk to the world. He literally has the world by his side. Quite honestly, you could probably still do photo shoots and stuff. You don't really need a left arm to do that. But you know what? I don't want to give him ideas. He should just rest. He'll be better in no time and then he can join the boys and do his thing again. But right now, he definitely should take a vacation. He's had an injury for seven years. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. As always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check out some of my Patreon stuff, I have a lot of exclusive content over there like reaction videos, like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that stuff over there that I can't really post on here because it'll get taken down or copyrighted or things like that. So you can definitely go over there and check that out. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to the channel, helps make better videos. I have a video over there explaining that as well. With that said, there's two videos that will appear on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.